Okay. Hey guys. Okay. So I just want to have a team zoom with all of you guys. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. Can you guys turn on your cameras? Cause I want to see your faces. I don't, I'm not judging what you look like. I know it's a Tuesday. Isn't it Tuesday? Tuesday night. Um, but like I said, I just wanted to have a team zoom with you guys and kind of talk to you about some things. Um, 2019 has been booming so far. Um, and so I wanted to hop on and, you know, talk to you guys about reaching your goals and specifically and just kind of pouring into you guys and seeing what you guys want out of me and what you guys want out of this business. And so um, I was just thinking the other day about, you know, how many people in this business, you know, you might want more than what you have right now, but you don't know how to get there or, you know, you expected to be at a different place than you are right now at this point, but you're just not there yet. And you might feel like discouraged. You're not, not, might not know where to go from here. Like wondering, should I be doing something different? Should I be doing, what should I be doing? And things like that. And I know I was feeling that way. I expected when I joined, I told my mom, you know, mom, like if I go to diamond in six months, I get a $10,000 bonus. I was like, that's easy. I'll do that. And then I was like, even if I don't, or no, that was three months. And then I was like, even if I don't, if I go in six months, I still get a $5,000 bonus. I was like, I'm definitely going to do that. Um, and here I was, I sat executive for eight months at the, in the business and then, um, actually went down to distributor for two months last December and January. And then in February, I went from executive to Emerald right after conference. And so I just tell you guys that to show you like how much can change in this business, especially in the season that we're in right now. So we're what we call boom season, which basically means that all those seeds that you've been planting, you know, at the end of the year when maybe they weren't all sprouting, but you were, as long as you were still planting those seeds, all of those are sprouting right now. Um, and even if I know some of you may have taken a break from your business and you want back in or you want to see, you know, if this business could be for you again, if you put in the work. And so even if you're at that point, you can still be successful. Um, and I want to be here to help you guys with whatever you need. Um, but first off, I kind of wanted to just say that, um, I was thinking about this, but a lot of other leaders say, so a lot of other leaders say like, you know, I'm going to run with the runners and I'm going to walk with the walkers. And what that basically means is that, you know, if you're ready to run and you're ready for, you know, to hit the next, hit the next rank, or you're ready to make like a certain amount of income to help you and your family, whatever you need. Um, if you're ready for that and you're ready to run, like that, I'm willing to run with you. Um, but the part that I don't like about that saying is that, you know, when leaders say they're going to walk with the walkers. Um, and the reason that I say I don't like that is because I'm not stopping. And so if you want to walk, I will 100% help you, you know, work your business at the speed and for what you want um, at that speed. But I'm not stopping. And so I just want you guys to know that I'm running. My goal is to hit triple diamond by March. And so I would love to have you guys promote with me. And I want to help you guys do that. And I want to walk you guys through it one-on-one. -on -one. I'm in link arms with the people who want to work. Um, but I'm not slowing down. And so, like I said, I will 100% help you at whatever speed that you're looking at going. Um, but I need to know what you guys need from me. And so, um, I know a lot of people are like scared to ask questions or, you know, they might feel that like they're like in a rut with their business and they don't want to ask for help. But guys, the thing about this business is that you're given a leader in this business for a reason. And so the reason that you join with someone is so that they can lead you in this business. They can help you be successful. They can help ask, answer questions. And um, if it wasn't for that, you would literally just sign up on a random, you know, company website and you would start your business by yourself and be hundred percent alone. And I know that's not what you guys want. And I know you guys want the help, but you have to ask because, um, and I'm not saying this, I'm not saying this part to say that, you know, I have too many people on my team to help you all. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is that I have a lot of people on my team, but I want to help the people who want my help. And so not everyone wants my help. Not everyone, um, you know, wants to work their business. And so I don't want to put my effort into those people who don't want it. I want to help put my effort into you if you want this business. And so think of that as like an advantage for you. Like, you know what, if I ask her for help, she's going to give me her 100% effort and help in this business. Um, but if I don't ask, if you don't ask, I'm going to assume that you're one of the people who don't want to work their business and who don't want my help to like lead you further in your business and help you be more successful than you are right now. Um, and I feel like that's something I just needed to get off my chest because, and um, like I said, I know a lot of people, like some of you might come to me and say like, yeah, like I just want to quit my business because I don't, 
you know, I didn't know how to do this, or I, you know, wasn't successful with this. And it's always those people that never ask me for help. And it's always the people who ask me for help who are now like promoting Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, Double Diamond um, in this business. And so just understand that. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, awkward silence when I have to get a drink. Um, but understand that and just know that it's okay to ask questions. And I love that. Like um, when I see someone, you know, calling me, asking me questions about the business, I like my heart literally leaps because I'm like, oh my gosh, I know that like she wants this business enough that she's willing to call me and ask me questions so that she knows the answer and she can better her business. Um, and I have a few girls that some of you do do that. You guys call me and ask me questions and I absolutely love it. Or you text me or you message me on Facebook and things like that. Um, and that's literally what I'm here to do. But I'm working my own business too. And so just like you, um, you're working your own business. You know, you might think like, well, I only have like 30 minutes a day to work my business. And so I need to make sure I work my business. But imagine if you had to reach out to, you know, 50 people, 50 distributors on your team and I, like beg for them to, you know, work their business or remind them like, Hey, did you make a post today? Hey, did you add 50 people on Instagram? Hey, did you do this? Like I can't manage your business and that's not what I want to do, but I want to be here to help you where you need it and when you need it. And so that was just like a little rant I just did, but you know, whatever. Um, but basically my point of this zoom is that I want to know who's running with me in 2019 because there are some people who, you know, I'm not really sure where you're at. Like I, you may not have talked to me for a while. You may not have, um, you may have stopped posting. And um, so I don't really know where you're at, but I want to know. And I want to know, you know, who wants my help in 2019? Who's wanting to hit what ranks in 2019? What your goals are, where you need help, what your struggles are, things like that. And so and my goal is really just have a, to have like a close knit team. Um, and even if you're not coming, well, I still want you to come to me for help, but even if, you know, you find someone on our team who maybe you didn't enroll them, maybe they didn't enroll you, but you see that, oh my gosh, like Taylor is so cool. I just saw her, you know, comment in our group chat and I don't really know who she is, but she seems like, you know, we would get along really well and she's going for this promotion too. So I'm going to go ahead and message her, message them because sideline sisters are seriously the best thing in this business. Um, and some of the people I've gotten, you know, the best tips from the best support from um, are not my leaders like Kayla and above. It's my sideline sisters, people that Kayla signed, but they're not on my team. And so those are the people that I truly like am appreciative, appreciative in this business um, and are my account, accountability partners to help me in this business, help me get further um, and still answer my questions and help me. And we bounce ideas off of each other and things like that. Um, and so that's basically what I just want to know is kind of where you're at, what you're wanting, what your goals are, and how I can help you get there. And um, because I truly am willing to work with you guys one-on-one -on -one individually, but I have to know how to help you one-on-one -on -one individually because I'm not going to, you know, just randomly message you and say, okay, let's go Ruby to, Ruby to Emerald right now. But if you don't want it, I can't make you go, I can't help you go to Emerald if you don't want it. But you have to decide what you want first, and then I can help you get there. And as long as you're willing to match my effort um, and, you know, show me that you're working the business, then I am 100% willing to help you and lead you. Um, so, if your name on your screen doesn't say your actual name, if it says, like, your phone or whatever, can you please comment your name in the chat? Because I can't see whose name is on here. I just see a phone. There's two people. I see your name, Jennifer. It's two other people. Okay, cool, Rachel. I'm adding you guys to something real quick. I'm not just being silent.
Okay, so I guess I can talk while I'm doing this, but I'm going to add you guys all to a chat, and this isn't going to be a group chat for us all to talk in or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to send you guys a list of questions, and don't respond back to the chat. This isn't going to be a talking chat. It's just for me to send this all to you guys at one time. Okay. There's one more number on here that I don't know who it is. So if you put it in the group chat, I can add you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna send you guys this sheet. I'm gonna explain it first. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to send it and then I can explain it as you guys are looking at it if you're not on your phones. Maybe. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to explain it and then I'll put it in the chat. So it's basically just a list of questions for me to kind of know where you're at individually. And then we can kind of go from there and I can see what you guys need, where you're going, what you're needing from me and things like that. It just makes it a lot easier for me to have all of that right off the bat rather than like wondering or questioning and having to ask you guys like 10,000 questions and not know, still not knowing the answers to my questions. So the first question is obviously, are you in? So if you're in, cool. I'm guessing if you're in, you're going to send this back to me. If not, I'm going to guess that you're not in this anyways. Um, the second question is what is your why? So get super detailed with this. It might be different from when you first started the business, but what is your why right now? So if your why is to, you know, be able to quit your job and be a stay at home mom, but be detailed. So be detailed in exactly what your why is um, why you're in this business to begin with, what you're looking for the for this business, why you want the income of the rank that you want to be at. Be detailed in your why and tell me why you're in this business, what you want from it, like whatever you guys want to tell me, but be detailed and specific. Um, this. Third question is, what rank do you want to be by February 28th? So I know it's January, um, and we're going to work towards that, obviously, starting now. But I want to know what you want to be by February 28th. So if you're, you know, a distributor, maybe you want to be Ruby by February 28th. Um, if you're, you know, you could, it could be one rank up. It could be two ranks up. Um, I want it to be doable, but not, don't sell yourself short. So if you know that you're, like, a couple orders away from Ruby this month. Don't tell me that you want to be Ruby by February 28th. Like, <laughs> Anne. <laughs> yeah, so you need to be going for Emerald, Anne. But um, tell me what rank you want to be by February 28th. And throughout these questions, if you ever don't know what I'm asking, tell me that. Say, I don't understand this question. Can you explain it to me? Because I can do that too. Um. The next one is, do you have your chart filled out for the rank? So yes or no, do you have your chart filled out? So that means you either have your chart printed out and, you know, the names are filled out that you have for that promotion, um, your volumes, whatnot. Do you have it filled out? Yes or no? It's okay if you don't. I just need to know. Um, the next one is, are you boxed in for that rank? Which, again, it's okay if you're not. So say Anne is going for Emerald. She, you know, might have her Ruby people plus another, a couple other people, but her chart isn't completely full. So boxed in means on your chart that you're going for, every single box has a person's name in it. If it's not full, say no. If it is full, say yes. Um, and you can even tell me how many more people you need um, to get to that promotion. But if you don't know how to chart, once again, tell me that in these questions. Say, I don't know how to chart. Like, can you help me with it? What not? And I can do that. Um, <clears throat> 
Number six is how many loyal customers have you enrolled this month? And this isn't where I'm going to be like judging you like, oh my gosh, you only signed one customer this month? Or, oh my gosh, you haven't signed any customers this month? I'm not going to be doing that. I just want to know where you're at. And I just want to like, I just want to know that information. Um, but I'm not going to sit here judging every single one of you and saying like, that's just not what I'm doing. That's not why I'm asking the question. Um, <clears throat> and then the next question is how many distributors have you enrolled this month? Once again, same thing. Um, and then number eight is what is your loyal customer goal and what is your distributor goal per month? So it could be this month, next month, same, whatever. But what is your goal of customers and what is your goal of distributors? And once again, like make sure it's realistic, but don't sell yourself short. And so if you, you know, if you're already at five customers, don't say like, oh, my goal is seven. Like, no, you can get more than two more. Like if you've already gotten five, like maybe set your goal at like 10, you know, 12, whatever you think is possible, but push yourself. Um, and so I want to know that. And I also want to know your distributor goal number, separate numbers. And um, number nine is what are your big, biggest struggles in this business? Be open and honest. I can only help if I know how to help. And so if you really struggle with um, time management, like say you have a full-time job and you have kids, you know, and you're like, I just don't know how to fit this business into my schedule, but you want to work the business, I can help you fit it into your schedule and help teach you how to do that. And um, my, when I first joined the business, I, it was like the very beginning of the summer, right after school got out, I was working a full-time job during the summer. I was taking, I think three summer college classes and I started this business. And so even though I stay at home now and this is my full-time income work from home, I can still, I still was where you're at right now and I can teach you how I worked this business when I was in that phase of my business. Um, so tell me what your struggles are. And it can be anything from like, I just don't understand charting. Like that's a super like big struggle for me. You know, it could be time management. It could be, um, you know, I'm really scared to, you know, post on social media. Um, literally anything that you struggle with in the business can be more than one thing. The more, the better, because I can help you with all of them. Um, and then number 10 is the best days and times to get a hold of you. Um, because yes, I want you, I want you to reach out to me and ask me for help. But if I ever need, like, if I ever need to talk to you or want to talk to you, like I said, I don't want to have to be going through my phone, just clicking all of your names one by one and none of you answer because you're all working or whatever. And I don't know that. And so just tell me what days and times to get a hold of you. Um, so that if I do need to, or if I want to talk to, or if I want to, you know, check in and see how you're doing, I can do that. Um, and then at the end, it says, attach a picture of, attach a picture of your chart printed out or a graphic. So I know some of you guys like don't print it out. Like you might not have a printer or whatever. You can just go to Google, search the chart that you're looking for. It works for RubyChart. Save the picture to your phone, put it in the over app and you can write their names in, like type their names in. And so you can send me that or a picture of your actual physical chart um, along with the answer. So send me like, I'm gonna put this in the chat right now, but like I have all the questions. So leave the questions on there, but then just put your answers by them so I can see it all at once. And um, so I'm gonna put this in the chat. And this might seem super silly to some of you, but It's honestly the easiest and most efficient way for me to know all that information right off the bat without having a 50 minute phone call with all of you, which I would 100% do, but I wanna know if you're in. So this is kind of my way of thinking like, okay, if you're gonna take the time to answer these questions and help me you know, learn where you're at and where you wanna be, then I'm willing to help you. Um, and so this is kind of that, like, I don't wanna say like your golden ticket, but basically it's you either telling me that yes, I'm in, I wanna work this business or no, I'm out, I don't wanna work this business. And so, um, I don't know you guys, I am just so excited to help those of you who want this business. Like, it just makes me so happy because I'm so thankful for all the people who have poured into me. And I'm so thankful for like the fact that I, I called Kayla last night and she was like, hey, what's up? And like her husband and her son were like by her and they were just like hanging out watching TV. And she was just talking to me on the phone. We were just talking like, about business but also just like about life and like just having those friendships and I want you guys to have that too um with me and with your sideline sisters as well um 
But last thing I wanted to say is that for those of you who um, have maybe taken a break from the business and you want back in or you're deciding if you want back in, um, think about what went wrong for you the first time. So think about what made you stop. Was it, you know, maybe it was time management and you didn't know how to fit the business into your lifestyle. Maybe it was you didn't believe in yourself enough and, you know, you need someone to pour that belief into you. And maybe it was you didn't understand the business and what you were supposed to be doing. Um, And so think about those things that kind of drew you away from the business and we can target those things. Um, Because like I said, I've been busy. I've had all the excuses in the book, but I never let those excuses stop me. So I could have said I was too busy. You know, I didn't have the money to join. I didn't have the money for an auto shipment. I didn't have, you know, I was scared to post on Facebook. So I worked Instagram freaking hardcore for the first part of my business. And I bear, like I posted on Facebook, but I didn't like work Facebook hardcore like I do now. Um, and so maybe it's things like that. Um, So I've had all those excuses too, but the fact is that you can overcome those. And if you need someone to help push you out of your comfort zone and help you overcome those, we're here for you. There's more than one. I can help you. Kayla can help you. Um, Clarice and Emily can help you. There's some of our leaders on our team too. And so uh, the fact is, is like my 100% point of this Zoom is I want y'all to reach out to me and I want y'all to reach out to whatever you need. So there are resources for you. And whether that's us as people, whether that's look at the signing law customers and distributors page, look at the wrap it up page, um, but reach out because the faster that you start um, growing those roots and, you know, maybe you ask a sideline sister about this thing. Maybe you ask me about something. Maybe you, you know, make a post and wrap it up asking a question or the group chat asking a question. Um, You're going to learn so much faster and the faster that you learn um, and you have people pour into you. The more connections that you make, the more you're going to want to work the business and the more it's going to keep you accountable. Because I know that in my leaders, my leader chat, if, you know, Cassie, Erin, Bree, Kayla, um, if anybody saw me stop posting, they would probably be like, oh, she's not in this business anymore. Like, what is she doing? And so it holds me accountable because I'm like, okay, I need to continue to work my business. People are watching me. And I need to make sure I'm doing what I need to do and they know what I'm doing. And so um, that's really all I had to say to you guys. So just make sure that you look at that message in the group chat. If you didn't get that message, send me a text and I can send it to you or comment in the group chat and I can send it to you individually Um, on Facebook if you didn't get added. Um, But go ahead and answer those questions. You can take time to think about it if you want, but I want that message by this time tomorrow. And I'm not reminding anyone. (laughs) My throat. I'm getting too riled up. Um, (laughs) Oh, like I was saying, I'm not reminding anyone. So this is, the point of doing this is seeing, like, who is taking this serious enough to, you know, answer those questions, look at those, take it seriously, let me know um, their answers and what they need from this business and who's not willing to put in that time. And so if you send me that back, 100% we're running I'm working with you one-on-one I have some things um that I am preparing to do with you guys I've already been you know thinking about it preparing those things and whatnot um but if you don't like I said I'm just going to assume that you're not wanting to work this business or you're not wanting my help at all um and I don't mind I don't mean that to sound scary I just mean it to sound like I'm serious and I want to reach my goals and I want to help people that want this business reach their goals too because that's one of this isn't one of the reasons I joined the business because I never thought that I'd be leading anybody. I thought it was just going to be, you know, me working my business and that's it. And it wasn't going to be anymore. Um, but one of the things that I've grown to want in this business is to be able to help people do exactly what I did and get exactly where I am now. And I know a lot of you guys are in the same place that I was when I first started, you know, like college age, just out of college, you know, just looking for a little bit of extra income and you can turn that into so much more just like I did. So. I'm going to stop rambling now, Um, but you guys go ahead and look at those questions, answer them, think about it, and make sure you have that back to me by tomorrow night, and make sure to include a picture of your chart, and if it's not filled out, that's okay. If you do have it filled out, send me the filled out one. If you don't have it filled out, go to Google, type in whatever chart you're looking 
promote to. So it works Ruby chart, it works Emerald chart, whatever. It works executive chart. And then save that picture to your phone and send it to me. I just want to know that you have it and, you know, you're looking at what you need. Um, but that is all I have for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, I know we've been here for like 30 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. So go ahead and send me that. You can send it, send it to me through, I'm trying to think. It doesn't matter. You can send it to me, text message or Facebook message. I don't care. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. But thank you so much for taking your time hopping on. I love seeing all of your faces. It is so exciting. Um, and we'll have to do some more team zooms, um, more often, but bye guys. Have an awesome night.